Close up everybody. I'm in Duluth, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My lips are so pink. Anyways, I'm on my way to Mommy Con looking like I'm getting ready to go to the club. Yeah, that's 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 what I chose to be my motif. My motif today. Anyway, um, me and Portia getting ready to head out. I'm um gonna get there like an hour before I speak just to get a feel for the lay of the land. Um I'm so overdressed, but I think I prefer being overdressed than underdressed to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I do. How y'all feel about that? Like, are you more embarrassed if you're underdressed to an event? Like, showing up to a wedding look like you're going to a barbecue or going to a barbecue looking like you thought you were about to walk a red carpet? I mean, I prefer to be dressed correct for the occasion, but if I had to choose, I'm always gonna be overdressed. Now, these toes of mine are underdressed. They are chipped. Um, the polish is coming all off, and I don't think I'm gonna last in these heels, so people are gonna end up seeing these toes looking a tired mess and the only reason why I won't last in these heels is because my feet are still sore from traveling and I had on um platform sneakers oh yeah this is this is gonna be awful so before we get there we're gonna get some maybe some fingernail polish remover at least get this stuff off of my toes dang it Whew. all right let's hit it so I'm inside of the convention center where they have all of the booths set up. Have you all ever seen this before? Down the canal? It's the game of birth. Down the canal. Yes. I did some on Periscope. Oh, you did Periscope? I did. I have like people I have a vlog, a YouTube channel. So I was like, why am I not videoing any of this because I've never seen this before. It's new. I created it. It just came off the press. January. Congratulations! That's what made you want to do a game about the reproductive system? Well, it's really, a, it's about birth. It's about pregnancy through postpartum. Uh. I want women to get, and men, that they get to have options. There are options, there are choices in birth, and I want people excited to learn about birth. Right. I just want to know more. <laughs> That's such a you hear that? Uh -huh. Yeah. I have the resources and the on my website if you want to explore further. Okay. And I want them to go say, hey, I don't believe that. Really? And then go look for I'm going to put a link to this board game in the description box of this channel for you all to check out. Okay? All right. So, again, I'm still at Mommy Con. I got my baby in my twin though. Say hey, baby. I'm in front of Green and Lovely. I just got a bunch of their samples that I'll be doing a review of so you all can check it out. I'll also put a, a, a link to their website below. I already, my girlfriend April, or who she's talking to somebody, has been ranting and raving about the body butter. And y'all know I love it. Did you just break I something else off of me? <laughs> Quit breaking my necklace. Yeah, he didn't broke it off. Anyway, I'll be reviewing this, so if you guys like it, you all can check it out too. So they have a breastfeeding lounge where women can feel comfortable breastfeeding. And um, granted, this is a, a space where you could just whip out your boob and feed your, your kids. But if you're not like that type of chick, oh, you're really like dark. I was. Here we go. Put some light on my face. If you're not that like that type of chick, did you get your bag? Yeah, you get much stuff. They also have a baby changing station too, which I know I'm gonna have to partake in because my kids like to pee and poop. So now we're about to go down towards where the sessions are happen happening. They put me in the largest room. Why? I better be good, is what I'm saying. Look, Angel, you better be good, because they didn't put you in a big old room. It takes literally. Oh, my Jesus. Jesus. They got a food court for the babies. It's so blurry, you can't see it. What is wrong with this camera? There we go. Oh, that is so adorable. Okay, I want y'all to see how large this session room is. I can answer more questions there, and I'm also going to be leading a little bit of a discussion on baby-led weaning. 
if anyone's interested in, in uh, hearing more about that, learning more about that, I'm going to talk about this that. This thing is huge. Question, like, come up, Help come up me, Jesus. This is okay. big. You've been on national TV <laughs> and a feature channel. Yeah, I have been on the national TV and a feature channel, but none of those people were there. The people who watched it. Yeah. Okay. This, oh, y'all didn't get to see April's face earlier. Look at, and look at that beautiful belly. Look at, don't she look good? She looks so fine. She's carrying this pregnancy. Well, honey, that's how we do. Well, we didn't do that the first time. Neither one of us did. We struggled. We didn't know. It was stressful. Did everyone hear that question? That's a great question. We're good. Okay, let me show you. You bring all the food and then your child still doesn't want it. Send us a video reel of one of her clients. And I'm watching it and I'm not really into it. I'm like, how is this woman going to fit into our event? And then all of a sudden it goes to this clip with this other person who I can't even remember her name and this woman in it. And I was like, who is she? And I want her. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, I told the publicist that the other person probably not the right fit. And then I found you on Twitter, I think, and like personally sent a PM, like there's no way she's gonna respond. I've gone down this road many times. And she actually responded, and she came out to our Southern California event just to check it out. And now she's coming on the road with us. Yay. Yes, and we're so excited to have her in Atlanta, all the way from Los Angeles, California. We had Angel and Nina Moore, and she's gonna tell us about falling in love with me, ourselves. She's gonna, yeah. All right, thank you for being with us. Thanks, uh, thank you so much. Give me a round of applause for putting all this together. This is amazing. So yes, guys, I uh, am so excited to be here. This is my first time meeting with Mommy Khan as a speaker. And when Exa asked me what I felt comfortable speaking on, um, because I'm a YouTuber, I do videos. A lot of the questions I get from the people who watch my videos are, how do you build confidence? How do you build self-esteem? And a lot of the people who are viewers of my channel are mothers. And the first time I got this question, I was kind of confused because I feel like as grown women, when we get a little bit of age on ourselves, I'm not gonna tell y'all my age right now, but when we get a little bit of age on ourselves, I feel like that's when we get to be the most confident because we shouldn't care what anybody thinks about us. We, we are raising children, we're keeping people alive. That should be enough for us to just put an S on our chest and feel like everything we do is wonderful. But I realized that that wasn't the case for a lot of women that were reaching out to me. So I've been formulating over the years of how can this question actually be answered? How do you build self-confidence? Because I always tell people I'm in love with myself. Like, I know I get on people's nerves, but I really love me. I like kicking it with myself. I think I'm funny sometimes. I can be bossy sometimes, but I really do like myself. And I feel like once you get to that point, it's easy to be confident in yourself. So before I just like jump into how I think a person can build self-esteem, I want to define it first so we can all be on the same page. My points. I was like, just open the book and look. <laughs> <laughs> what did you write down? Why are we here? Oh. What did oh, I say? Like you eat. It did not seem like your first time. No. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
Oh, I should get a picture of some of that. Yeah, you should. You'll see me in my heels. You can wear heels. And up. You can squat. You can do time wheels. You see that? You see a bounce? You can do flamingo. And it's wingo. <laughs> flamingo and it's wingo. For just. I thought your talk was great, by the way. You saved me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Look at these cuties. Oh my goodness. I can't remember. I yeah. Okay, guys. So I am leaving MommyCon Atlanta. Again, thank you, Exa, for having me. Can't wait to do this in Chicago. Thank you so much to Twingo. I got my babies <laughs> attached to me. What are you doing back there, Kai? <laughs> Sucking on your hand. Um, we're about to get up out of here and eat. I'm starving. Um, this definitely made. I fed them, and now um, getting up out of here. This is definitely make my life easy. Hi, I'll talk to you soon. This is the young lady that makes the Black Lives Matter cloth diapers that I'm about to be all about. Are you, you have twins? Are those twins? Are those your? Is that your baby? Oh, okay. They're beautiful. Okay. All right. I uh, yeah. Time to get up out of here. We're gonna go up the elevator because we got the stroller. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Um about to see my other about to see my other sands. And drink this Diet Coke in the car. It's probably hot. Oh no, it's cold outside. So the Diet Coke is cold. Love Diet Coke. Yeah. No, the elevator. <laughs> so yeah, it was good. I think Portia got some footage of it, so we'll see what I look like. It looks good. I liked it. Portia liked it. Some of the people came up and said she did a good job, so I don't think they're all liars. No. Or maybe they were like, she said she doesn't care what other people think, but she needs this. <laughs> she needs Whatever it. reason, I'll take it. Yeah. Told y'all my um, love language is words of affirmation. I need it. So thank you all who um, loved on me today and gave me them affirmations. All right, I'm at Red Crawfish in Duluth, Georgia. And I've got a lot of food because I'm starving. Ty is away eating some of my vegetables. Ty is underneath there asleep. My sons, Michael, came out to see me. She lives out here with a pretty self. And y'all saw April earlier, and of course, just her. Look at this. Look at this, what I ordered. This is called the Yum Yum Shrimp. This mess is so good that I have only eaten one shrimp because I'm afraid that I'm going to start eating too fast and just eat the whole thing with the tail on. And I got some salmon. Uh-oh. It's blurry. There we go. Some salmon. I haven't tried that yet. And I had some clam chowder. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm a little bit going in. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the food because it, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to go big. What's up, everybody? I am chilling in my hotel room with the baby. What do you have? What are you putting in now? There's, uh oh. There's Sai. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> you know? And then there's Kai over there. Say hi. Is it blurry? Dang it. There we go. There he is. And then there's Sai. Uh, <laughs> Portia's out with a friend. So I'm here. Uh, so my friends came over for a couple minutes. We just chilled and kicked it for a little bit. So now I'm letting the babies wind down until they fall asleep. I'm trying to find something to really watch on TV. I have it on um, uh, Home and Garden TV, HGTV. Because I don't have that at home. So I was like, oh, I can watch it here right now. But um, yeah, I'm exhausted. Got to get up early in the morning 
to catch our flight. Well, our flight doesn't leave until 12 noon, but I'll probably go to lunch with my sorority sisters. Not lunch, breakfast, and then return the rental car and then go to the airport. Um, but yeah, so on the way here, on the plane, I started watching Power. I know, it's, I'm late, they're in season two, but and everybody was like, you would love it, you would love it. It is very intriguing, so me and my husband are about to add that to the series that we're, we're gonna start watching, so we're gonna watch all of season one and uh, catch up on season two. And hopefully we'll be fans of the show. So anyways, that's uh, my update for now. More than likely I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I doubt if I come back with um, any additional or bonus footage. So guys, if you're in any of the cities, oh, ooh, 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 where I'm doing MommyCon, MommyCon has a publication that they put out that they give to all the attendees. And look who's on there. Me. I'm on the cover. And then they did uh, an about the cover page. Hold on. Where it has an article that I wrote and then two pictures. So dope, right? Uh, so if you're in any of these areas, please, please come. I would love to see you. We're going to Chicago on March 5th, Seattle, April the 2nd, June 25th, we're going to Austin, Texas, July 23rd, we're going to Washington, D.C., August 20th, we're going to Costa Mesa, California, then September 3rd, we're going to Orlando, Florida, and October 29th, we're going to San Jose. So if you're any of those in any of those areas, I think tickets are just thirty dollars. Please come out and see me. I want to meet you. And I'm debating I might be going to Playlist Live this year since I missed it last year because I was pregnant. So let me know if any of you all are going there because I would love to meet some of you all. Okay. Well, please like, subscribe, and share this video. I am going to try to stay awake so that my children don't hurt themselves doing something or getting into something that they shouldn't be in. All right, guys, love you. Be blessed. I have on the Tingle Carrier. Ooh, excuse me. I have on the back carrier with Sai. Say hi. We're getting ready to head back to LA. Say yay. Say yay. Hi. Yeah, good job. Say yay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, is huh? Say bye bye. Say bye. We gonna go see that that that. Yeah. I, for some reason, my camera was recording in my purse. I don't know why, but we got all of our stuff on, so now we don't have to wait at a carousel for 30 minutes. So we're gonna hopefully get. We're gonna do good. I'm gonna watch some more power. Probably fall asleep. Sorry about that. My child is throwing magazines. Thank you. So anyways, this has been a really good trip and this makes it seem, this makes me feel more comfortable um, traveling once a month for Mommy Con as well as doing some travel for TMB. So that's good. That's good. Okay, say bye-bye.